I'm having a, an interesting conversation with this Christian, which got to give him a lot of credit because at least he's hanging into the conversation, keeps replying. Um, and one observation is, it's like they just don't see it. They just don't get it. So it's, okay, obviously me. I'm not communicating effectively enough for others to kind of see the logic. But here's, here's the thing. Christians, as a whole, go out and try and convince everybody to follow this book. Follow this book perfectly, you know, because it's the guidebook to getting to God. It's, it's the guidebook of living the perfect life. I have yet to find one Christian that follows that book perfectly. They all admit they don't follow it. So if it's a book that they can't follow, does it make any logic sense that you go out and teach other people, hey, follow this book? Where is the logic in, in, in trying to convince other people to do something you can't do yourself? Like, I mean, that that's kind of my point right there that don't try and convince anybody else of something you can't do yourself. If you can't do it, why the hell would you expect anybody else to do it? Like, you want me to solve your problems. You want me to follow a book perfectly so what, it helps you? Where is the logic in trying to manipulate and convince me to follow a book while you don't have to. And then the, the conversation, because there is, I personally think in, in these books, there's a lot of really, really good information in there, but it's mixed with a lot of bullshit. Um, beating a kid, sparing the rod, is something I think is abuse. So basically this rule book says you gotta abuse your kids. And this guy that I'm having this conversation with is like, well, you want an obedient child, don't you? You know, obedient child is, you know, the best kind of child to have. And it's like, let's see. Why is it that a child is misbehaving in the first place? And, and, and this guy's accusing me of being new age and new age is trying to destroy Christianity. So let's just look at what new age is. New age is kind of like using your brain <laughs> where religion seems to be don't think just have belief in something that doesn't really exist in your world something that you can't follow but believe it anyways like it, it, there's absolutely no logic sense attached to religion but you're not supposed to think about those things. You're supposed to just have faith. So, new age, because that's what I'm accused of, I guess, and it's kind of, of saying to me that humans learn more by observed behavior. We watch, you know, like if, if, if you're in a, a highway and, you know, a whole pile of cars are going 100, yet the speed limit is 80, you will follow the crowd and do 100. Kind of not safe because if you're going too slow, you could cause an accident. So you kind of got to go with the flow of traffic. So we as humans observe what the rest of everybody else is doing and we behave exactly the way they do. We don't set rule books and follow rules. We as humans mix up interpretations. We, we hear what we wanna hear, we see what we wanna see. So you can put a book out there and I'll miss and skip a bunch of words. I'll see what I want to see. That's why some people have to learn how to comprehend. You know, when you, you take English, you have to work on your comprehension. You know, and it's how to comprehend something that's written. A lot of us don't know how to comprehend written stuff. 
and then you mix in a bunch of different languages and then you mix in one word can have so many different meanings and we're supposed to be able to comprehend something and follow it and live your life that way we are like perfect tape recorders of observed behavior we will copy exactly the behaviors that we watch. So, with that concept, if I'm a Christian that doesn't obey the Bible that I'm saying is, this is the way you should live your life, and I have a child that misbehaves, that doesn't follow my rules, then your lack of obedience in following that book is shown by your child not following you he's mimicking you perfectly so when you see a child that's not behaving it's not because the kid needs discipline like beat the crap out of a kid until you get him to do what you say and not what you do my father always used that example all the time don't don't follow what i do follow what i say and it's like Okay, here's a man that's trying to teach me how to be happy, yet he was never happy. This was a man that was saying, you know, follow the rules, yet he never followed any rules. You know, like, he didn't make any sense whatsoever, but had this constant criticism about me because I wouldn't listen to what he says. And, you know, kind of looked at his actions tried as hard as I could not to behave like him but I'm sure I did in some way without it. we don't observe our own behaviors we can't see our own reflections we think we're all good but others judge us not to be good and we can't see those judgments because as soon as somebody says something negative about us our walls go up and we start defending and defending and defending instead of sort of listening well what do you mean what is it you see that I don't see you know, we, we don't tend to um, be open to, hey, maybe I'm wrong. Is the world going right? And if the world is going right, if the world is going wrong, which one of us is actually the ones participating in something that's wrong? I mean, if the whole friggin' population of the planet is us all saying, hey, I am the one that's right, if everybody's saying I'm right, then why is the world getting destroyed? Somebody on the planet has to be wrong. Not saying I'm the one that's right. I can see my own insanity. I'm working through my insanity. I'm sharing my insanity. I am not perfect. <laughs> I don't follow my own rules yet. But I'm working on myself, kind of sharing the process that I'm using but I definitely am open to being wrong. I could be wrong. And that's why I do some research to be able to find out what is right. And I play it out. And it's like, okay, if that works for me, would that work for other people? I think that's where we, we need to be headed. I wish I, the crowd of people that are doing things that are wrong are religious people they're the ones in the highway going a hundred when we should be going 80 kind of really hard to go 80 when the majority of the planets going a hundred we all know better but it's really really hard to control yourself and let's face it if any religious person is not following their books, their rule books of live and write 100%, then they have to admit there's something wrong with them. And they have to do some soul searching for themselves before they start teaching anybody else that this Bible is correct. And you have to kind of see that some of the Bible is a little wrong. You have to make a little common sense that beating a child only teaches a child violence. It doesn't make them disciplined. It makes them scared to death not to do what you do. And let's face it, what you do is breaking the laws of your own book. So 
you know, then you're teaching your kid how to be abusive to the next person that they meet and wonder, oh, why is my kid misbehaving? Because you're freaking beating the kid out. You're teaching the kid how to be aggressive and, and fearful, and he's putting that out in the world and, and attracting a lot of negative experiences that he has to defend through violence that you teach. Is that not insane? Or is it just me? Could I be the one wrong?